And so the job starts. And we start off with NOS, New Old Stock Thomas Park Hands. Lots of Thomas Park Hands to start replenishing some of the older, more degraded stock because uh, some of the stuff here is just in really bad condition. So um, we thought it would be a good idea to start cracking out the old stuff, and uh, which is, was brand new in the boxes, and uh, start replacing some of the old ones. So uh, lots. This incidentally is where they store the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo stands. When they're not in use, the whole complex gets stored in this huge big hangar. It's very impressive. So we now have a huge clump of 110 to 20 park hands all ready to go down. Uh, many of them knew, but not all of them knew, and that's Eric posing next to them for scale. Uh, and uh, we have a bit of a graveyard of dead park hands. And uh, what I was hiding behind that cluster was all the grey, bland ones. But uh, yes, it's a bit of a, a bit of a carnage. So um, it was quite hard choosing which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of. But um, yep, these are the worst. So all the new ones are ready to go down and get put up because parkans form one layer of the lighting. It's a lot of intelligent lighting in the two, but the parkans are, they're useful because they provide a good wash of light. And uh, not just a wash of light, but uh, they're also going to be the fastest to get back up if you have a huge technical disaster because uh, it gives us more options. But uh, yeah. Lots of parkans. So why is a parkan called a parkan? Well, the reason is because it's basically a metal can designed to accommodate one of these. It's a par lamp. Now, this is a par 64. And the reason it's called a par 64 is because the par stands for parabolic aluminized reflector. And the 64 is the diameter in eighths of an inch. So it's eight inches in diameter. And you get various uh, beam angles. This is a CP60, which is the narrowest beam, which is the one we use mainly. But we also use, in parts of the job, we use CP62s, which is one of the widest beams. And the different then between one, the CP60, is basically, it's a textured mottled glass front. And these things, it's notable that uh, when you've got them in a par can, the alignment of the lamp holder at the back here gives an indication of the beam pattern because it doesn't put out a perfect uh, circle of light. It puts out what you might call an um, ellipse of light. And... To align that, you actually rotate the lamp inside to actually get the beam pointing the way you want. And that's uh, ex exaggerated somewhat by these uh, long lenses in the front of the CP62. So that's uh, why parkans are called parkans. Parabolic, alumin parabolic aluminized reflector and a metal can to house it. Uh, mainly, the main characteristics are being heat resistant. And, uh, oh, the long barrel in the front is just to uh, avoid uh, beam, beam spread. You do get short power cans that are designed for that though. But uh, these ones are uh, engineered to just fire the beam out in a straight line. Say for instance if we're pointing over there you'd get quite a modest beam uh, fired. It would go quite a distance. And uh, these are rated about a kilowatt each which adds up to quite a lot. Uh, it's some very very busy dimmers down below running these. But uh, that's uh, power cans.